Good morning everyone. Today we are going to read chapter 4 of Political Science Working of Institution Part 4. Now let us see Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. These are the two houses of parliament. And let us discuss that parliament and its two houses. In all democracies, an assembly of elected representative exercise supreme political authorities on behalf of we people. In India, such a national assembly of elected representatives is known as parliament. At the state level, it is known as legislature or legislative assembly. The parliament is the final authority for making law in any country. It can also change the existing laws. It can also abolish the existing laws and it can make new laws as well. The parliament decisions uh, exercise, parliament exercise control over those who run the government. No decision can be taken without the support of parliament. Parliament also control money matters. This is highest form of discussion and debate on public issues and national policy on any country. Parliament is divided in two parts or two houses. These houses are Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha. First, House of People. It is directly elected by the people that is also uh, known as the House of People and exercise the real power. The maximum strength of the house is 552 of 553 members are elected from the states and 20 members from the union territories. Two members are nominated by the President of India from the Anglo-Indian community. The present membership of Lok Sabha is 545. Second, the Council of States, which is also known as Rajya Sabha, is usually elected by indirectly and performs some special functions. The most common work for the second house is to look after the interest of various states, regions and federal units. This has not much, uh, not more than 250 members. Twelve of Rajya Sabha members are nominated by the president from persons who have earned distinction in the field of literature, art, science, uh, service, etc. Rajya Sabha is a permanent body. One third of the members retire after every two years. At present, 245 members in Rajya Sabha, distributed among different states and union territories. Now let us uh, clear the distinguish between Lok Sabha and Rajya Sabha. Lok Sabha, member of the Lok Sabha are directly elected by the eligible voters. Members of Rajya Sabha are elected by the elected members of State Legislative Assembly. The period of Lok Sabha is 5 years. It is a permanent body, Rajya Sabha. One third of members retire after every two years. Lok Sabha, the maximum strength is 552. And there is strength not more than 250. Money bills can only be introduced in Lok Sabha. The Rajya Sabha does not exercise much power over money bills. More powerful than Rajya Sabha, less powerful than Lok Sabha. Thank you. Next we will do in our next slide.